Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to a, another video. Today for you guys, I wanted to talk about the Kingdom Hearts series second phase as this was a really cool thing that was actually displayed in the Kingdom Hearts 2020 trailer that was of course unveiled in June. Now the trailer consisted of basically the announcement of Melody of Memory, a rhythm-based action game for the Kingdom Hearts series that will be releasing this year that obviously does progress the story forward, diving into that of Kairi's heart to find evidence towards where Sora could potentially be. The other side of it too was also announcing that Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is going in to its final chapter, as well as stuff to do with Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. But at the very beginning of the trailer, we actually got to see a graphic that shows us a sort of template or outline towards the second saga, or what is now known officially as the second phase of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, it's definitely obvious that Kingdom Hearts is taking cues from that of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with dubbing its sagas as sort of phases. And of course we have to mention uh, the, the Kingdom Hearts 2020 sort of animation intro with of course all the different Kingdom Hearts characters and stuff on the text as it's sort of panning through through the actual text that is again taking major cues from the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, logo animation that you see before you watch an MCU film. What's great about this is it goes to show that Square Enix are absolutely buckling down with that of the Kingdom Hearts series. And I know that all of us were thinking, well now that Kingdom Hearts 3 is out, uh, time to wait another few years until the next major Kingdom Hearts installment, but it took us by absolute surprise to know that the next big kind of Kingdom Hearts game will of course be releasing this year. Of course, this is not a fully blown traditional Kingdom Hearts experience, it is a rhythm game, but still, through and through, it does progress the story forward. Now, the template shows us a bunch of different boxes, and only three of them are filled in, with Kingdom Hearts Remind, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road, as well as Melody of Memory. Those three titles can be considered part of the second saga or phase of the series. We can see that two of the bigger boxes are empty, as well as five smaller boxes down below. The other interesting thing about this too is you'll also notice arrows going between the smaller boxes to the big boxes and vice versa. Also, the arrow placements all differ as well, so I guess we could consider this is a timeline of sorts, but ultimately what does confuse me about this is if this is a timeline represented by the arrows then of course why is Union Cross and Dark Road in the middle? You could say that the time travel aspect is sort of coming into play and maybe it's potentially something to do with Dark Road once the story progresses forward will eventually link up with the current future events of Kingdom Hearts but of course only time will tell. At least looking at Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind and then Melody of Memory in the sense of the time Line, that most certainly makes sense as we know Melody of Memory is pretty much taking place uh, either throughout that year period uh, between Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind DLC or of course shortly afterwards. As of course it was explained in the Limit Cut episode that uh, Ienzo and the group at the Radiant Garden uh, computer area are of course diving into that of Kairi's heart to find evidence and clues towards Sora's whereabouts. So seeing as I was on my hiatus when this came out, I thought today we'd just sort of talk about the potential different slices of content towards uh, Kingdom Hearts that we will be getting for this second phase lineup. Uh, we do have some clues that were given to us within the Remind DLC, and I think the Limit Cut episode really kind of gives us a good idea as to where potentially uh, this second phase is going. So the boxes do give us a sort of idea. Now we do have, like I said, bigger boxes and smaller boxes. And as to what these represent, who really knows? I think most of us are sort of thinking that the bigger boxes uh, more so pertain to major titles and actual games, and the smaller boxes could pertain to smaller projects that aren't so much fully fleshed out games. However though, we've got no idea as Square Enix haven't made any comment towards this second phase lineup, and for all we know, the smaller boxes could suggest future titles that are still ways off yet. Before we get into this though, I thought I'd bring up some news and information that was actually given to us by Tetsu Nomura within the 13 Questions of Darkness that was released shortly after the release of the Remind DLC at the start of this year, as this most certainly relates to the second phase. 
This is question 12 out of that Q&A, and the question was, would you be able to share, if any, plans for the future of the Kingdom Hearts series? Nomura said, we will need some more time to make another traditional main series style Kingdom Hearts game, but there was a surprising announcement from the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross team last week, which was obviously the announcement of Dark Road. On top of that, we also have two new teams working on different projects separate from Remind and Union Cross, and one of those games is coming out earlier than you would think. The title screen for Remind lays some of the groundwork for it. Now, this is obviously in reference to that of Melody of Memory. Uh, during the time of getting this Q&A, uh, Melody of Memory was still a few months off of actually getting revealed, but of course, now we're living in times that we know, yes, Melody of Memory is a thing. So clearly, one of those two teams are responsible for that of Melody of Memory. And it also seems like Osaka team will be, of course, developing the next major traditional Kingdom Hearts experience, which I think most of us at this point are thinking will be Kingdom Hearts 4. But the other interesting thing is, there is also another team as well. I think with Tetsuya Nomura saying that it's going to take us some time to make a traditional mainline Kingdom Hearts game, and then he goes on to say on top of that we also have two other teams, it seems like Kingdom Hearts at this point has a total of four teams, one for the mainline games, one for Union Cross, one for what is Melody of Memory currently, and a final one for an unannounced project. Yes, when I say that Square Enix are buckling down with Kingdom Hearts, they really, really are. Now, do also keep in mind in the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimania, Tetsuya Nomura did mention that there will be one other Kingdom Hearts title that will release between Kingdom Hearts 3 and 4, which I think at this point is Melody of Memory, but of course, those plans are always subject to change. However, going off of what he said, once Melody of Memory comes out, are we to expect Kingdom Hearts 4? or will there be something else? After all, he did specifically say that there will be at least one Kingdom Hearts title before a Kingdom Hearts 4. At least is the keyword here. So let's look at the two big boxes. So the very first one could potentially be a Kairi Riku game that takes place after that of Melody of Memory. Once of course Melody of Memory wraps up, hopefully uh, the gang will have some sort of evidence that they found deep within Kairi's heart to use in order to track down Sora. Now we also do know at the end of Limit Cut it was explained that the fairy godmother is going to dive into that of Riku's dreams to also try find some kind of evidence towards Sora's whereabouts. Now, Perhaps maybe some of that could also be explained within Melody of Memory, uh, what exactly they find whilst diving into Riku's dreams, and using the evidence that they find from both Kairi and Riku could begin the next adventure for after Melody of Memory, where Kairi and Riku set forward using the evidence they've found to venture through numerous different worlds, etc, etc. Now I would like a fully blown Kairi game, that would be just absolutely amazing, especially after taking control of her in Remind. She is a bona fide badass, and to get a fully blown experience with her would be really cool. But we do know that Riku is of some importance as well to obviously track down Sora, so I think it would make sense to kind of meld the two together in a similar fashion to that of perhaps Dream Drop Distance, where we took control of both Sora and Riku, and both of their stories play out together. This could very well be the project that the fourth Kingdom Hearts team is currently working on. Looking at the fifth big box, I'm thinking could potentially be Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 4. At this stage, uh, no doubt Osaka team are in full swing of uh, the development of the next major mainline Kingdom Hearts title, which will of course be Kingdom Hearts 4. As Tetsuya Nomura said, it will take some time before Kingdom Hearts 4 is actually released, or at least the next mainline KH title. So that's why I'm leaning towards the idea of another sort of smaller title releasing after Melody of Memory which could be in similar fashion to the sort of not so much spin-off titles but subtitled Kingdom Hearts games, again consisting of Riku and Kairi. To hold us over that would make sense uh, during the wait for Kingdom Hearts 4, but the fifth big box surely should be KH4. And then we have the five smaller boxes. Interestingly enough, there is three medium boxes and then two smaller boxes. Again, this will obviously relate to something specific, uh, whether or not these are smaller projects or still fully blown projects, but more so because they are smaller boxes, could insinuate the fact that they are some ways off. 
who knows? I know a lot of people are throwing around the idea that one of these boxes could pertain to that of the uh, rumored Disney Plus series, so that of the Kingdom Hearts, so that totally could be one of the boxes right here. A Union Cross remake, which would be just absolutely fantastic. It makes no sense to hold all of that extremely important lore behind that of a mobile phone game. So Square Enix really, really, really need to do something with Union Cross's lore to make it more easy to access, especially because it's heavily relating to that of the future of the Kingdom Hearts saga. As we know, the Foretellers will be involved going forward, as well as the Master of Masters. Their origin and all of the important events to do with them are all contained within a mobile phone game. That is not okay. You could also say that the fourth uh, Kingdom Hearts team, where I was saying they could be making a Kairi Riku game, could more so be actually working on a UX remake, but again, who knows? Another smaller base Kingdom Hearts title that could revolve around the Birth by Sleep trio. We know that Terra, Aqua, and Ventus in the Limit Cut episode explains that they are going off to the Realm of Darkness to again find clues to search for Sora. An actual fully blown game again, playing as all three of these characters would just be absolutely incredible. Especially having a modernized version of the Command X system with the HD format of Kingdom Hearts my god, I, I really kind of want this. And of course we know that Square Enix could do some really really cool things with the Realm of Darkness. We got a little taste test of this in 0.2 Birth by Sleep, with of course some of the worlds from BBS falling to that of Darkness, exploring sort of uh, destroyed, uh, twisted versions of these worlds, was just really really cool from a level design standpoint. And I really want them to do more with that kind of thing. So to get another sort of subtitled Kingdom Hearts game uh, revolving around this idea would just be fantastic. We also know that the Twilight Town gang are currently analyzing the memories of Xion and Roxas. Is it possible that we could also see another subtitled Kingdom Hearts game that revolves around Xion and Roxas? I know a lot of people want another sort of Roxas based game at some point. And I know specifically speaking, everyone wants that Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days remake. If any Kingdom Hearts game does deserve a remake, it's most certainly days. But at this point, I think that Square Enix are just more so focused on uh, actually uh, just progressing the series forward. But to see some kind of Shion and Roxas title uh, where we actually do get to sort of dive into their memories, similar to that of Melody of Memory, but not so much a rhythm-based game, more of the traditional action RPG sense, would be cool to see. And the final thing that I'd like to see in one of these smaller boxes is just something to do with Verum ranks, to give us more of an idea as to exactly what this is in the sense of Yuzora. Now I know and currently at this point, there's a lot of ideas flowing around that potentially Yozora Verum Ranks could actually be its own thing, but the introduction of which is infused into that of Kingdom Hearts. And by own thing, I mean its own IP, its own actual game. We know that Tetsuya Nomura has a lot, a lot of passion for that of Final Fantasy Versus 13. This was his absolute passion project for years, until of course Square Enix made him step down as director and replace him with Hajime Tabata, turning the game into that of Final Fantasy XV. It's very clear to see that a lot of these ideas that Tetsuya Nomura originally had for Versus 13 is being infused into that of Kingdom Hearts, but more so into this thing known as Verum Ranks or Yozora. It's very possible that it could become its own thing, and I would love to see some kind of announcement or reveal part of this smaller lineup that we see down the bottom. We also of course know that Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are also off venturing through every previous world that Sora and the gang went to in order to find clues as well. There is also potential there to turn something into a potential installment. I'd actually be so totally down to have Mickey as main protagonist in a Kingdom Hearts installment at some point, as of course originally it was planned that Mickey was actually going to be the main protagonist for Kingdom Hearts in its early stages of prototyping. Most of these ideas are all based off of currently what all the characters are doing in regards to actually hunting down Sora, finding exactly whereabouts he's disappeared to. I think a lot of these future installments will have some sort of revolvement around them, whether or not we're going to get individual installments that will focus on uh, what each of the characters are doing in order to track down Sora, 
who exactly knows. A lot of this could actually just be thrown into one Kingdom Hearts game, but I feel like a lot would probably be rushed if you did that with too many multiple playable characters. It's better to have separate installments focusing on the different groups. Who knows though, we may only get a couple of games that actually revolve around this idea, and then other ones may pertain to other things. So those are just kind of my ideas chucked into the mix towards this whole second phase thing. Again, it's just fantastic to see something like this because this is Square Enix telling us, guys, uh, Kingdom Hearts is in full force. It gives us a sort of unknown roadmap to a degree, and I think that we will be getting a slice of Kingdom Hearts pretty much every single year. Uh, not confirmed of course, but just looking at this sort of lineup, uh, I think each year is going to be busy for this franchise. Now guys, so that's all for today. I wanted to talk about Phase 2 as of course I didn't talk about it as I was on my hiatus during the time of its release. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts towards Phase 2 of Kingdom Hearts and are you excited? Now guys, I'm Cynical, hopefully you're having a fantastic day and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.